Hello and welcome to another BeamNG tutorial. In this video I will show you how to improve the graphics without any mods. Keep in mind that I have my game set on ultra settings and I am running on 2560 x 1440 resolution. Your results may vary, but it will still be a massive improvement over the default settings. Let's dive into it. After you loaded a map, press the F11 key on your keyboard to open the world editor. Here we will work on source tree, which is the window on the left side, and the inspector, which is the window on the right side of the screen. You don't need to move them or resize them, I do it so that it is easier to follow. Now on the source tree search bar, search for Sunsky. When you click on Sunsky, the inspector window will get populated with some fields. Here you have to look for sky brightness field, then set its value to a value between 100 and 120. This will increase the brightness of the sky. Next look for relay scattering and set it to a value of 0 0.002 or 0 0.01 how you prefer. Now for the sun scale, this will dictate the color of the sun. I like to have it more towards orange, you can experiment to see which color you like the most. Next look for ground albedo and set it to white. Now the ambient scully looks best when set to gray, so set it to gray. Now scroll down until you find advanced lighting and set text size to 2048. Also look for log weight and set it to 0.99 or 0.996 and see how the shadows are changing. Don't forget to change the shadow softness to 0.1. Now if you want to experiment with the position of the sun on the sky, you can modify the value of azimuth. Try some values and see how the shadow's position are changing. This is up to you to modify or not. I tried setting it to 130, 230 and 600 so you can have an idea of what it does. Also if you look for the sun in the sky, you will see that it changes its position. Now that we are done with sunski, Let's move to the next setting that we need to do. In the scene tree, search for the level info. Here look for fog density and set it to zero. On this map is already set to zero, but on other maps it will have a value greater than O. Now again back to the scene tree search for clouds. You will find two instances, clouds one and clouds two. You can just modify clouds one. In the inspector window look for coverage and set it to value 0.2. For the exposure parameter you can set to the desired value. I like how it looks with 4, but you can experiment and see what works best for you. The height parameter you can set it to a value between 2 and 10. 2 will make the clouds come lower while 10 will raise them high. Once you are done, remember to save the settings. You can do that with Ctrl plus S or by going on the top left of file and hit save. It will take a few seconds to save it while the game might look frozen. Remember, you will have to do these settings for every map you will use the same way we did it for this map. The good thing is that you will only have to do the settings just once on every map. See how beautiful it looks now compared to the default settings. But how about we make it even better? Go to Vehicle Config and then Color. Here toggle the configuration toggle button to expand the color configuration parameters. Set the chrominess to 100. Set the metallic to 45. Set the roughness to 36. And last the clear coat and clear coat roughness to 0. These are the results, see how nice the paint is reflecting the light. Thanks for watching, and I hope you will have a great day.